but look at him, he's got a bunch of scarves. And then you could also have fun where you just like have a badass Hydra gun with a little pink ribbon. <laughs> Named Precious. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Tufsy. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Furbottom. <laughs> and yeah. Um, yeah, I say like there should be certain achievements added to Pokemon too, I think. That reward you for making the game harder for yourself. A big one being if you beat the Elite Four and they've been doing it for a little while now, like it shows like a little kind of graphic for like the type of your Pokemon. <clears throat> Sorry about that. If you beat it as a monotype, like, because that's what mostly Elite Four have been. Sometimes the champion's a little weird, but for the most part, it's generally always monotype. If you beat the Elite Four as monotype, there should be an achievement. Like, you should get something. Actually, I think they did do that in X and Y. Really? If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, I haven't done it yet, but I'm almost positive you get something from somebody if you beat it with a monotype. Like, I can't remember what it is or where you would go to talk to somebody. But I think there is some sort of compensation for beating the four with a monotype team. That's pretty cool. Keep that kind of stuff up. Because I personally, when I play the game, that's what I do. Yeah. I try to make every kind of rule imaginable to make the game harder for me. And it's still kind of mind-numbingly easy. Yeah. So, moving forward, I'd love to see something like that. Um, I think... If we get Megas for starters and trainer customization back, I think we're good. We can get a few other Megas as DLC. I'm totally down for. You know, just anybody you want to throw out there. I say Raichu is a big one. The fact we don't have a Raichu is really fucking weird. I mean, there's no... I don't understand. Like, anybody should have a Mega. Like, why Raichu wasn't Gen 1 Mega is really weird to me. Now he's not Gen 2, so it's like... <laughs> what, are you, what are you waiting for? But then you easily have one Mega from each generation moving forward. Like, oh, we got Mega Pachi Raisu, Mega Molga, Mega Minum, and uh, the other one. Puzzle. Yeah, Puzzle. <laughs> Worthless. So, alright. So, I guess we're going to briefly touch on Smash. I have played every Smash. You have played every Smash. So, okay. we generally are, I guess you'd say... We are seasoned, to our opinion. <laughs> seasoned veterans of yeah. the series. We were playing what she calls it on the last one when you call it like all the super version Project M. Oh yeah, yeah, stuff. the Project M, the homebrew versions where you add different little things. For those of you who aren't aware of what the hell I'm talking about, there is a group of people who have hacked the Wii and you were able to customize Super Smash Bros. Brawl basically as you see fit. You can make changes to the characters. You can add in textures for the characters, textures for levels. You can add your own music to the levels by changing out. If you don't like a particular song in a level, you can add in whatever music you want as long as you know how to format it. Uh, or you can just go onto the website and they have music there that you can look and upload for yourself. Um, you can change the way your characters play completely. You can add music. Sorry, as I'm watching the game in the back. <laughs> <laughs> and the Patriots just had a major stop. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, oh. Oh, oh yeah. Butterfingers, but all right. <laughs> Sorry. You can, like... You you can add you can make your own custom characters like if you know how to code and shit this is it's a fun thing for you guys obviously we don't know how to do that shit yeah. but um um they made it so that you, there are characters like Roy and Mewtwo that aren't in Brawl that you can add and they have their own custom move sets they can make it so characters are more balanced. That's the one we generally tend to play is called Balanced Brawl, where the characters are more evenly balanced. Like, Meta Knight is not so unbelievably balanced. Characters like Donkey Kong aren't nearly as shitty. Ganon. <laughs> Ganon is much better. Like, Captain Falcon is invincible while he does the Falcon Punch. Donkey Kong can throw a barrel. You know, just the little things that make... Yeah. characters just better 
and make other things in the game that aren't nearly as bad. Oh, and they get rid of tripping. Yeah, which is horrible shit. Which why they ever had that to begin with. And you can tell it was bad because that was literally like the first thing that they announced when they came out with Smash Brothers for the Wii and DS. <laughs> that was one of the first things that they said. It's like, oh yeah, by the way, there's there's no tripping, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, but, um, I don't know who thought that was a good idea, but fuck that guy. But all right, getting back, so we're not here to suck off whoever makes Project M. <laughs> but good on them. But new game. I've played it a significantly shorter amount of time than Judge here. <laughs> Whereas I, I've owned all of the uh, Smash Brothers, Dave has just kind of played them with other people. I like to contend that I'm the best Smash player to never own any like the Nintendo consoles since 64. <laughs> like, I just enjoy them. I have major issues with them, but it's not something that I'm just like, you know what, fuck this game, I'll never want to play it. Like, before we get into Brawl, I want to bring up our, what is it, the Smash Super Smash Brothers? Yeah. The new Tekken Pokemon game, why they felt the need to take out everything that makes Tekken cool for the Pokemon game, because they were like, the fans won't be able to enjoy it, is just a giant fuck you to everyone who enjoys Pokemon and isn't a complete idiot. <laughs> so, I mean, that's just a douchey thing to do. They took out the high lows. I think they said they were like really limiting combos. That's just like, fuck you. I mean, I understand little kids are going to play and whatever, but yeah. it's like... I'll probably even Little play kids are going to get their ass kicked by adults no matter how simple the game is. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, that's just how games are. Unless you're talking about like a kid who plays nothing but video games and you're like a dad that works. Then, yes, maybe your kid kicks your ass, but... You're talking about two people that put even remotely the same amount of time into the game. A kid is not going to beat an adult. Unless you're... Eh, whatever. More often than not, the adult will most likely beat the child. Yeah, and those kids that do hang at that level could hang in a game with combos and stuff. So that's like just a giant, like, fuck you. And it's not on Tekken at all, Namco. And that's completely on Nintendo Game Freak. Whoever made the decision, and that's just kind of shitty. It kind of ruins that game for me. But they took out the level of complexity because they thought the fans were too stupid to get into it. Um, but yeah, getting back to Brawl, Super Brawl, Super Wii U, Smash, Smash U, whatever the hell it's called. Pretty good. I mean... Yeah, man. It was better than what we expected. Especially on the DS, because I remember people at E3... Uh, I'll, I'll even go straight up. I <laughs> didn't think it was going to be shit on the, on the uh, DS. I was like, man, that looks stupid. It's going to be stupid. And I was pleasantly surprised. It looks pretty good. I still don't think I'll ever be the guy that's going to connect the DS to the Wii U to play. I could understand it, I guess, if you were like really into it and like that's all you pretty much play. Like you'd get used to that controller. I'm going to be one of those people that are going to buy the second generation GameCube controllers or whatever the hell they're going to call them. Yeah, then they're just the new GameCube controllers. Yeah, and that's what I play on. Yeah, I do not own a Wii U. I am looking to getting one around Christmas time. In that, I hope people, my family, will get me one for Christmas. <laughs> if I don't get one for Christmas, I will buy one myself after the fact. But um, it's just on the cards for me right now. But um, I am going to get one. I am going to get Super Smash Brothers for it. Um, and I am going to get uh, the uh, the GameCube adapter. It is just it is how we've played since Melee. since Melee. And it's just, the, I don't want to say it's the superior way, but for most people, that's what it is. Oh, God. It, and I don't know, man. Like, I haven't seen how people play on the gamepad. I heard it's not terrible. But I still, I hear, like, it's a step below the DS. Yeah. And I'm not a huge fan of the DS. I have the, uh, the 2DS, right? Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah. And that thing's a little bit easier to use than the DS, and I still say it's a giant step down from a GameCube controller. Like, so I'm hoping by the time I really get into the new one, we'll be all a GameCube controller now. Hopefully Nintendo will come off their fucking high rocker about recording it so you guys can see us playing. Yeah, um, that's something else we kind of, we, we'll get in, I mean, let's just, let's get through 
Smash Brothers. Yeah, like that's just a kind of shenanigan thing, but whatever. Um, characters you like to see for DLC? Um, well, first of all, I want to point out that aside of Mewtwo, right now Nintendo really isn't talking about making DLC, and that pisses off a lot of people. Considering yeah. all the characters that they left out, I can understand why they left out Ice Climbers. That makes sense. There's a good technical reason why Ice Climbers is not in this game. Um, there is absolutely no reason why Wolf, Lucas, fucking who else? There's some other characters that that they could have made that are clones, but they gave us characters like fucking Dark Pit and Lucina. Yeah. It's it's stupid. Yeah, I know a lot of people like clone characters for whatever reason. I mean, Wolf played decently enough. Like, he felt, to me, because I like to play as the Star Fox characters a bit, Falco is more of a clone. Yeah, Falco, I would say, is directly a clone minus a couple things. I mean, his blaster does more damage and the fact that he kicks his shield. Yeah, but... Other than that, he feels like more of a clone than Wolf does. Wolf, to me, plays so much more different than Fox. Yeah. And the fact that they added in Dr. Mario, j -j 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 Dark Pit, for whatever fucking reason, I'm okay. I'm slightly okay with Dr. Mario. I'm slightly okay with Lucina. Dark Pit is just picked with a black costume. Yeah. Like, it, they don't even... It, if you want a clone character, he is every sense of the word a clone character. And it just makes me sad. I would even say the me fighters, me, uh, you want to call them? The me, yeah, the me's. I would, they're, they're just stupid. I mean, the fact that we're like, well, we want to put them in the game, but we're also worried, you know, it's going to, you know, offend people if somebody has, like, a dick on their face, so we can't use them. That's stupid. Why do you put them in the game? Like, as soon as you were like, well... I don't know about using them. That should have been it. Game over. No fucking conversation. Create another character. Why you would even bother putting them in? Like, I will say that it is fun to make them. Yeah. You know, for what it is. And But there's there's no point in using them. Yeah, like, like I, I rarely ever... a character you can't use. Yeah, I rarely ever play with them. Like, I would rather just hone my skills with characters that I can play online with. Yeah. There's just no point to it. But, um, back to the DLC thing. Obviously, Mewtwo, fucking awesome. Thank you, Nintendo. That that shows that you guys listen. I know a lot of people have like, never played Fire Emblem want Roy back, but... <laughs> yeah. I literally think that's just, like, a douchey hipster thing, but maybe it's just me. Like, I don't... I think if I asked anybody who wants Roy back anything about Roy, and I don't know anything about Roy, they wouldn't know anything about Roy. <laughs> Like, oh, he was fun. I liked him more than Marth. And I'm like, yeah, but Marth is, like, the guy. Be like, well, I like Luigi more. So, yeah, fuck Mario. Don't put him in there. <laughs> like, it's just, it's a weird argument that I hear a lot of people make. And I'm probably all right if Roy doesn't come back. We have quite a few Fire Emblem characters now. Um, um, one character I would like to see, you know, I said I'm not a huge Metroid fan. I know enough of the story and the characters to know about this kind of thing. And I'm really surprised that he wasn't put in the game. Aside of Little Mac, who... Little Mac was easily, foremost, the number one requested Nintendo character to be put into the new Super Smash Bros. Um, everywhere. If you looked anywhere, it was Little Mac. Little Mac, Little Mac, Little Mac. The second character... Before you get anywhere, I called it. Even after you told me they're a fighting game character, I'm like, they're gonna put a little goddamn Mac. <laughs> yeah, and, and they were like, oh, we don't want to put fighting game. He's not really a, it's more of a boxing simulator. And I know that sounds weird, but when you think of a fighting game, you think of something like Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter or Tekken. Pokemon. <laughs> That's an inside joke. <laughs> someday we might explain that. Yeah, we'll explain that someday, but <laughs> Little Mac had to be put in there. The second most popular requested character was the Metroid villain Ridley. And for whatever reason, he was not put in the game. I know, and there was a lot of people who were like, oh, he's too big and you know, we wouldn't be scaled right. Do you not understand that in these games you have a creature like Pikachu, who's only supposed to be about mm, maybe yay big? <laughs> yay big. 
maybe about as big as my noggin, who is about chin height to fucking Mario, who is or a normal sized human being. Mr. Bowser. <laughs> And Bowser, who is a character that literally does not have a distinguishable size. Yeah, you have times where Bowser would be larger than the stages. You know, and... And there are characters that, you know, they're different heights, clearly have different heights, that are not in the correct height. Because these are not technically the characters. They That is the kind of the point of the game, where... Yeah, they're the characters, but they're just toys of the characters, and it's really kind of convoluted, but... Regardless, there was no reason why Ridley couldn't have been in there. You would have satisfied a lot of people. And, I mean, other than that, those were the two big characters that everybody wanted, and we did get a lot of characters that people wanted. Like Bowser Jr. I would have been very upset if Bowser Jr. was not in this game. Yeah. And the fact that all of his alternate costumes were the Koopalings. That was a really good idea. I do have to say one thing, though. To everybody who saw, like, the Mega Man reveal trailer, and they're like, I saw Bowser Jr., and you're like, now that we have Bowser Jr., somehow that rock in the background was Bowser Jr. <laughs> I think that's just, like, a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please don't think just because you see things in the background, like, randomly, like, oh, that rock is somewhat shaped like a turtle. <laughs> so are all turtles. <laughs> and speaking of costumes, let's talk about that, for example. Back getting into uh, the character thing, it kind of deals in with this. If you can have all the Koopalings be Bowser Jr.'s characters, they all have different models, they all have different voices, they all are... They all code differently. Sure, they are the same model, and they all do, you know, but they and they look the same in terms of how they attack. They are virtually different characters. They have different voice clips. The announcer announces them as Iggy or Ludwig. And then you have Olimar, who has his friend. I can't remember his name off the top of my head because I don't really like Pikmin that much. Um, you know, he is an alternate character. And then you have the wireframe little Mac, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's just no reason why Luca, like Lucas couldn't have been an alternate costume for Ness. Yeah. That was one that always really bugged me. Um, God, there was another one. There was another character that really bugged me. Like, why couldn't Dark Pit just be Pit? An, uh, an alternate costume for Pit. Yeah. If... If you're going to bother making all these different sound bites, all these different things for the characters, and all he is is a clone. Oh, the only thing that really changed was like his side B where he attacks with a slightly different weapon. It's stupid. Shouldn't have happened. And I, there's sounds like, oh, well, they're trying to, you know, give us as much content as they can, but at the same time, they just know. It's just being lazy. I would be perfectly happy with them having less characters in the slot if they had just added them as alternate costumes. Because it doesn't make a fucking difference. You're still basically playing the exact same character, only one is slightly slower, one is slightly faster. Ooh, big fucking difference. It wouldn't have really mattered that much if they had just made, example, Dark Pit just be a costume for Pit. It just wouldn't have made a difference to me. And for a lot of people. I just can't imagine what they were thinking when they did that. Alright, so we did a lot of complaining, but now we're just going <laughs> to kind of talk about things we liked. I like the changes they've done to two of my favorite characters and Bowser and Donkey Kong. Absolutely. In the, in the last game, Donkey Kong and Bowser were just hindered by their lack of speed... Just their overall weird bulkiness. Donkey Kong had no projectiles or long-range attacks. Yeah, he wasn't fast enough to really play, like... Like, he has solid range, but it's not so good. Like, he had less range than a lot of the sword characters. He was slower than a lot of projectile characters, so, like, you literally would just kind of get edged out. Like, there's nothing you could do, and Bowser was just horrible. In this game, Bowser's one of the best characters in the freaking game. 
Yeah, like one of the major problems with Bowser in the last game was so many of his moves 